Warning, this is a horror game dealing with dark themes, these include homophobia, racism, and suicide. Viewer discretion is highly advised. Hi, it's Miranda, and I'm going to do a blind playthrough. It's a point-and-click with horror elements. It came out just last November. It's called If on a Winter's Night, Four Travelers. I don't know anything about this game um, beyond the first couple of minutes, so I have no idea where this is going. record sound. I know this is set. Um, this is set in the 1920s um, on some masked ball on a train or something like that. Um, and there are no voices. So if I do some terrible accents, I apologize. And if people's accents and voices change, I also apologize. Try my best. February 1929, somewhere in Central Asia. The only one awake. Young man, is everything all right, young man? You seem agitated. Are you not enjoying yourself? Oh yes, yes, certainly. It It is a lovely party indeed. It is, isn't it? Such delightful costumes and the music exquisite. Oh, but where are my manners? My name is Layla. I'm Carlo. Pleased to meet you, um... Sweetie, what is wrong? I can tell there is definitely something on your mind. Are you looking for somebody? Oh no, it's just that um, I know it must sound peculiar, but... I can't seem to be able to recall how I got here. What do you mean? Surely you must remember something. Well, I was at this hotel in Rome. That I do remember. Rome? What a beautiful city. Were you on a vacation? In a way, I was there to meet with my paramour. I was waiting for him to arrive. The Silent Room. I saw what this part of the game looked like, but I didn't see any real story things happening yet. Ah, oh, beautiful Rome. So glad to see you again. Still as majestic as decadent. And of course, as loud as ever. Oh well, I'll sleep when I'm back in Turin, I guess. What time did Patrick say he would arrive? I'm sure I left his telegram, uh, telegram around here somewhere. Ah, oh, here it is. I'm not controlling it yet. My shooting star, thrilled to see you. Please check it at the Grand Roma. Everything taken care of. We'll be there around noon. Love, P. Why gonna be P for? He's thrilled to see me, thrilled. Or, oh my, this, this is going to be rough. Why would it be rough? These are my choices. Uh, he said thrilled. I know nothing else. He's thrilled to see me. Thrilled. Be still my beating heart. Uh, I should take a quick look in the bathroom mirror. Make sure I look presentable. And also to check if room service delivered the flowers I ordered. Also check if everything needs to be perfect. I can control now. Room service, one of the greatest inventions of humankind. You certainly can't buy good taste with money. Doesn't like it, I guess. I'm so tired from my trip. I want to do his rest, but Patrick should be here soon. 
Maybe we can call rooms now that said have breakfast in bed. Mm -hmm. Looks like a watch on top. Socks, underwear, a couple of shirts. And that Rolex Patrick gave me at the first party we met. I'm sure he would like me to wear it. I'm sure. I'm positive. Absolutely positive. They're so fancy. So fancy. Let. Thrilled to see me thrilled. Right to bathroom. That toilet. Been there, done that. Well, I didn't need to know your business, but sure. Good day. I'm sure these towels cost more than what I make in a month. They might. Well, well, well. I like the tub. Mirror. You lucky, handsome devil, you. You? You really hit the jackpot this time. What if he's the one, the real one? Can you imagine? Having to tell mum and everything. Okay, you know what? We'll cross that bridge. When and if we ever get to it. For now, you just you look just dashing, young man. Does it do anything new? Wink. If I do it again. I was expecting a horror thing. Well, I winked. Guess we'll go this way. This reminds me of that party. Actually, I don't remember that much about it. Just that there were togas involved. Patrick loves that whole Roman Emperor aesthetic. He'll never admit it, but I'm sure it's part of the reason he lives here. American. <sighs> Americani. There's even a radio in the room. A radio? This place really has everything. Oh. Oh. Wonder how this works. Think I better leave it for Bashak. I'll leave it just in case I should hear something. I'm a little paranoid that there's a reason I should leave it. Whiskey, gin, vermouth, amaretto, campari, of course. Yum. Is that limoncello? Is that limoncello? Great room service delivered. But I should move them somewhere else where they stand out a bit more. Should you? Are you going to make me do that? Hmm. Oh, it's in my inventory. this like a test? It's just like you shouldn't have put them there. Much better. And here's the card, just as I requested. I guess I made the right choice, or maybe there's more choices and I should have done two my one and only. He's going to love it. Love it, I say! Is that the phone? Wait, no. It's the door buzzer. Patrick! And not like Patrick. Is that Patrick? Oh, he looks like Colonel Sanders. Carlo! Oh, how cute. Patrick, so happy to see you. Look at you, it's been too long. I've missed you. I don't know what voice. Me too. I'm so happy you made it all the way here. So, how do you like this place? You mean the room or the city? Both are quite excessive. The room, pretty fancy, isn't it? Very much so, especially that painting over the bed. Especially the bathtub. Very much so, especially that bathtub over there in the bathroom. I hate the painting, apparently. I can assure you, you've never seen anything like it. I'll take your word for it. 
Have you seen there's a radio and everything? Did you try to find some music? No, I didn't. Guess that's a thing. Oh, it didn't cross my mind, but feel free to if you want. Don't mind if I do. There. Isn't that nice? I don't hear it yet. How about a drink? We should really make the most of this amazing equipped bar I see over there. If only in solidarity with my fellow Americans suffering under the grip of the Volstead Act. Are you serious? It's not even noon yet. Oh, sure, coming right up. You're on vacation. Oh, wait, is this a real song? Oh, boy. All right, let's go. Oh, sure, coming up. Coming right up. That's my bambino. Let's do this. I don't know. So, one for Patrick, one for me. Yay! Salute! Cheers! Oh, he's drank, he drank. <coughs> so, shall we move this to the bedroom? Oh, by the way, those flowers are for you. Let's see. By the way, those flowers are for you. Look at them. I bought them. Oh, they are absolutely lovely. And look, they come with a card. To my one and only. <sighs> Charlie, God, I need to tell you something. Uh-oh. Want to sit down? I'm fine here, thanks. Look, Carlo. We can't keep doing this. I'm sorry. Why don't you like me anymore? Are you serious? You're dumping me. Are you serious? You're dumping me? And you asked me to come all the way here for this? I wanted to tell you in person. I could have simply never gotten in touch again, but I wanted to see you. Would you rather I had just walked away? Well, you, you didn't have to bring me all the way to Rome. You're right. You never would have done that. I still have a problem. You care too much to just walk away, so you bring me all the way here. Of course I care, but that doesn't mean that. That you have real feelings for me? I've never suggested such a thing. What about your telegram? What about it, Carlo? You're seeing what you want to see. Really going to make me show it to you? Are you serious? All right then, wait here. <sighs> Should I be leaving you? There, in your own words, I'll show you. This went... Sure, knock yourself out. This went south super fast. What about that party? Seriously, Carla, you think anything about that party ever made it into my memory? Well, this guy's just being a dick. Okay. Well, there's another Irving Berlin song ruined for me. That's who it is, Irving Berlin. I was like, I know the song. I, mean, I know the voice. I just never know the... It disappears when you're not looking. I don't like it. Here it is. Thrilled to see me, he said. Undisputable proof that he loves me. My shooting star. I see. How can I be so naive? Thrilled to dump me. That's what he was. I thought he was going to be like dead or something messed up real quick. You're a shooting star. Of course. Fleeting. A passing glimpse and then gone. 
Is that how you justify it to yourself? I'm just some crazy adventure. Or did the deuce put the fear of God in you? He is not that. And has nothing to do with you. It's just wrong. I'm sorry, Carlo. Oh. Oh. Got it. Oh, you surely can't be serious now. Just say you're afraid of being deported and cut the crap. Look, I don't expect you to understand. But I have read these articles, these medical journals. Oh. Carlo, there are doctors. Oh, no. They can help you. They have this new therapy. As soon as I found out about it, I told my wife everything. Oh, but you're cheating on your wife. Oh my god, this is the 20s. About you and me, about this whole thing. She knows it was a malaise, something beyond my control. And she supports me unconditionally. No, she doesn't. We'll go through this together, discreetly. And our marriage will be stronger for it in the end. Carla, you should think about it too. I didn't know it was going on. Apparently there's a hospital near Turin in Coligno. In Coligno? I don't know if I'm saying that right. Carla, they can cure you. I don't want to make him mad because he's clearly, clearly deluded. He's clearly been just brainwashed into just, it's, this is... All right. I don't know if these choices mean anything, but... Patrick, no, not you, please. After all we've shared. After all these moments together, he's been brainwashed, dude. He's gonna think it's wrong. Sick. You really hate yourself so much. That you think a doctor can cure you of what you feel for me? Carlo, I can't feel anything for you. I have a wife, I have children, I am a man. And this is what a man does. Well, he's a snake for cheating on his wife, but he also, like, shouldn't have gotten married in the first place, clearly. And also... This is just... Patrick, I know you're scared. The future isn't looking good right now. <laughs> Giving up seems like the easiest thing to do. But we don't need fixing, and you know it. This is so relevant. You don't need fixing. This is not who you are. Though this is such a waste of time. Why did I think it was a good idea to tell you in person? This I wasn't expecting this game to go here so fast. I'm sorry, Carlo, Carlo but that's all I can give you. I need to go home now. Can you please call room service and order me a taxi cab? <sighs> you really have some nerve calling yourself. That's what I want to do. But I'm just like, I, I feel like I would feel so dejected and sad that this person was brainwashed. And I'd probably feel scared. Because now they're brainwashed. You know? Alright. I feel like I would probably just make the call and I'd feel so horrible. Alright. Alright, sure. Well, what about that car? I'm so sad, Patrick. Give me such a nice hug when we saw each other. Room service? I'd like to arrange a pickup. Yes, a regular taxi cab will do. Owen, Patrick Owen, room 1046. Thank you. 
good riddance. Is there anything I do to change your mind? So what now? You just go back to them. I don't think there is, but I'm still going to ask. Is there anything I can do to change your mind? As you... Carlo, I think I've made myself very clear. When I exhale, my tie flies. I don't know what else to tell you. This was a mistake and I came here to fix it. Now I just want to go home and have a drink. Yes, getting drunk, the solution for everything. So that's what you're going to do to forget the fact that the best way to fix any problems, isn't it? Well, according to him, no. best way to deal with this, that's for sure. Jesus Christ, I can't put up with your whining any longer. It says that I'm reading it. I'll go wait for my car downstairs. As to you, you can pack your suitcase and go back to Turin. <laughs> and pray that these lovely fellow townsfolk of yours never figure you out. This is what I mean. It's the fear. You know what? I'm fed up with your con con condescendence and how dare you. Either one of these is a problem. Oh no, these are my choices, huh? <sighs> Either one of these is a problem. Okay. You monster. <gasps> oh, that was not what I was expecting. Okay. Why did I... Oh, I had to click something. Oh God, Patrick. Oh God. Yeah. The phone or the door? My car is here or something? What happened? Why am I standing here? I was on my way to the bathroom. I need to wash my face. I need to calm down. Oh, okay. We're in an upside down world or something? Oh. Basin. You gonna see something in the mirror? Patrick, my love, so much blood, so much blood. Yeah. So much blood. So much blood. You're dead. It was me. It was me. Oh God, Patrick. I'm sorry. I never wanted this. But I can make it up to you. You see? Just you wait, Patrick. I'm coming home. <gasps> okay, I can't do anything here, but it seems like someone it seems like someone's gone a bit a bit bonkers. It's an invitation. Ah, to some kind of mask bowl. RSVP not required. So this is supposed to be a mask. It slithers. Snake. Okay. I. I'm assuming this four travelers thing. The next thing you know, I'm here in a train with a drink in my hand. Now, this all feels unreal, like a strange dream. Like I shouldn't really be here. 
Oh dear, what a terrible experience that must have been. I'm not surprised that you're feeling disoriented. Excuse me, I'm so sorry to interrupt. Not at all. What is it, darling? Do you mind if I take a seat? Of course not. Please, go ahead. Thank you so much. Her story? I have been looking all over for my husband, but I cannot find him. I'm quite certain that we were supposed to meet here, yet nobody I speak to seems to have seen him. And as what does he look like, miss? What does your husband look like, miss? Winterbourne. Valerie Winterbourne. My husband is Henry Winterbourne. Surely you must know him from the papers. Not that it would matter here. But I am confident that if you were around, I would have recognized him already. Do you remember when you last saw him? Of course, it was... This is embarrassing, but I, I am not quite sure, so sure right now. It's alright, dearie. What do you remember then? It was raining. I see. The slow vanishing of Lady Winterbourne. So what they called Miss... Was, oh yeah, okay. Ricky Lake and stuff. I think it was Winterbourne, right? I'm like the only person who saw it. <laughs> Brendan Fraser was in it. Do I click? It's Lady Winterbourne. Yep, click. Oh. Ties her hair right up. Have I been sleeping? It's dark. Glass to counter with laudanum. Oh. My medicine keeps the nightmares at bay. But there's not much left. No light. It hurts. No. She's depressed. These are for tomorrow. Is it tomorrow yet? She doesn't want the light on. She doesn't want to look in the mirror. And she's got laudanum. If I close my eyes, I can almost hear. Did there used to be faces here? Shh, quiet now. Have I been sleeping? It's dark. How long has it been raining? What day is this? Outside? But it is yesterday. I cannot go outside when it is yesterday. Ball of yarn. Oh, it's Lord Sock's ball of yarn. He always brings it with him when he sneaks in at bedtime, but where is he? Maybe he got caught outside in the rain. It's hard to see anything from here. I can't see anything. Maybe the servants know something. Now we go into the hallway. It is probably chilly out in the hallway. I should cover up just in case. What was I doing? I think I forgot. I'm just tired. I haven't slept well. Yes, I just need a bit more rest. I'll get changed later. Yes, or tomorrow. I'm just so tired right now. A short nap will do me good, no doubt. But first, my medicine. Okay. 
There's no, there's so little left. Why hasn't the maid replenished it yet? What was that? scheme is a letter from Lord Cavendish what could he possibly want sorry for your loss my most sincere condolences what is this a joke has my husband seen this did the maid bring this where is she remember some fading memory something not quite here a dusty vase feels like it's inside my head disturb the shadows the housemaid should be here in her chambers This is very others, except the drapes are open. What is this? I hear voices. She's not alone. I think there's a man in there with her. The door's too thick. I can't make out what they're saying. I need to find a way to listen to what they're saying. Glass. See, balls, I figured there'd be a glass. Nice. I guess the door itself is probably too thick, but maybe. Ah, perfect. Not in the conservatory incident. What about your Lord Num consumption? Has it decreased at all? No, but she ha must have had, mustn't have much left. I haven't refilled her decanter in several days. And I've hidden the rest in the cabinet downstairs. Good. And this cabinet is locked? It is. The glass is thick and the glock strong. It is vital that she doesn't find the key. She needs to regain her composure and her health. More letters are arriving. And rumours abound. The display cabinet in the parlour? How dare they keep the key from me? I should burst into that room right now. But I will deal with that tomorrow. I think I may. I will have my medicine now. She's dealing with everything. Later. And tomorrow, and later, and tomorrow. Okay. I know what I'm supposed to do. I'm not dilly dallying. See where this is going a little bit, but I wonder about the choices. Oh, this is so sad. This is so sad. This is sad. Okay. Book. My favorite bedside book. Proust à la recherche des temps perdus. I don't know if I said that right at all. As soon as I read, read two pages, I start dozing off as I read two pages. It is not dark yet. I don't need to turn on a lamp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What shall I do today? I could play my harp for a bit. Maybe afterwards, tea in the conservatory with a good book. It is so warm outside, I don't need anything else. Okay.
She stopped when I click. She stops when I click. The most wistful of melodies, Monsieur Satie was a true master of melancholy. I didn't see that. But right now I'm in the mood for something more cheerful. Are you? Her and her husband. Look at that. I just noticed. Some family pictures. These are these three over here are my favorites. Mama 9 for Paris, February 1923. Mama 9 Vienna, April 20, 1926. Mama 9 New, New York, October 1925. I remember I found some great records from my gram gramophone on these trips. Listening to them always brings back the most delightful memories. Henry protests at first about including Lord Sox in the portrait. But if I am a Winterbourne, then so is he. This is just... There is cat hair all over the carpet, as per usual. <laughs> Dear Grandpapa Bovosa, 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 he believed in oh, he believed in me when nobody else did. Bovosa, I don't know how to say that properly. Mum and Dad, oh how they hated posing for this. They think painting is out and that there is nothing as exciting as photography these days. I cannot say I disagree, but it is so lovely to have them here on the walls like old-fashioned aristocrats. My little cousins from Amiens, I miss them so much. A classic Wing Ha vase from the Ming period, invas invaluable. King Ha, and one of the few pieces the family can still afford to keep. I those for? Probably not. The catalog from the auction in which the vase was acquired. It is not dark yet. I hope Henry won't lock himself up in his study when he gets back. Because of his business trips, we barely get any time together lately. Slow vanishing. If Henry makes it back in time, we should have a picnic in the garden. It doesn't, doesn't look like there's anything else really to do. Sleep is for the sick and the feeble. He should be here any time now. If I catch him just when he's arriving, I can usually see his automobile from here. What a lovely day. I can walk this way. If Henry makes it back in time, we should have a picnic in the garden. My own personal pantheon. These figures have always been a huge inspiration for me. I could, I just could not bring myself to leave them behind in France when I moved here. The plaque says, Eos, God of the Dawn. The plaque says, Mimosin, the goddess of memory and words. Nimosin? of memory and words, kind of perfect. Plax is Apollo, the god of music and the sun. To the parlor, all of these pretty pictures. I, I feel dizzy. Why, was I going downstairs anyway? I'm not sure now. Was I not going back to my room? 
Grandma Winterbourne. I knew her in the last years of her life, a remarkable woman. Grandpa Winterbourne, I never met him. For what I know, all for the better. I reckon he was old fashioned when it came to crossing class boundaries. Got it. I don't know what's wrong. I feel so weak. When will it ever stop? Is it morning? I can't tell. The barest whisper of a melody. You should have been here. I'll get changed later. Yes, or tomorrow. I'm just so tired right now. It's empty. I'll get more tomorrow from the cabinet in the parlor. No light. It hurts. No. thing. Lord Windsor now? What is this? Deepest condolences, again. But there's more. I'm aware of the dire situation of the Winterbourne family. Rumours about their precious Ming vase, one of few pieces not yet sold. Surviving on your fortune alone? I believe that our union would be nothing but mutually beneficial. This is outrageous. What is this all about? I must find the housemaid. I demand an explanation. Besides, she has the key to the cabinet. No. Just go to hallway. can't hear anything. Seems like the room is empty. Or maybe they are hiding from me, whispering in the dark. How dare they? Glass is cracked. I'm so furious. How dare they not open the door? Is this the vase he was talking about? I wonder if a thousand tiny pieces will be as valuable as a whole vase. <gasps> Putin a meld. Put down a meld. Mm. That's a, some moldy old book. I I can't remember. On and on until my very bones are wet. A shadow, just a shadow. She's gonna fall down the stairs, isn't she? You were always so kind. She didn't. A faint ticking. There used to be flowers here.
books and more books. Here's one and another. The Prophet's Paradise. Poetry, what good has it ever done? The unbearable jargon of the clockmaker. My grandfather was a clockmaker. I don't recognize this title. Where did this come from? When did this come from? My medicine should be in the cabinet. There it is, hidden in the back amongst the glasses. But I don't have the key and I have no idea where the maid is. Well, I'll smash the bloody thing open if I need to. Rest, maybe later. I could sink in it. Only ash, this is not the fire I seek. Hmm. Yes, this will work. She's ready to do it. I mean, I figured that's what was going on, but I wasn't sure. Glass inside glass to be admired from afar and not touched. What a sad fate. My gramophone. I have so many memories attached to all these records. Especially the ones I brought back from my trips abroad with Maman. Which one shall I play first? Real Viennese Dances, Parigi, by Giuseppe Verdi, my New York. It's time in New York. Let's do New York. Scandalous. What should I play after this? I am listening to this already. Fine. Parigi Okara. Isn't it too dreamy? What should I play after this? The old Viennese dancers. I actually know more than I thought I did. There, played all the things. But this is not the way it happened. My trips with Maman. I need to remember. Oh, was it a particular order? Oh, I see. The smell of fresh flowers in the morning is one of life's subtlest pleasures. Henry's favorite spot after his study, of course. Perfect spot to read a book by the fire. Cat purring on your lap, the sound of logs crackling. No better way to spend those rainy English autumn afternoons. Never been too fond of this painting. It is so solemn and joyless. Henry's taste can be so old-fashioned sometimes. Ew. Too foyer. Sounds like the servants are talking in the foyer. But I do not need anything from them right now, and I should not eavesdrop. It is rude. Now it's rude. There's no fire to stir. To bedroom. Some of my favorite family photographs. Mom and I in Paris, February 1923. Paris, Vienna, 
New York. Wait. I really feel like listening to the records I brought back from these trips. They do a little walk down memory lane right now. So. 1923 is Paris. 1926 is Vienna. And 1925 was New York. So Paris, New York, Vienna. Paris, New York, Vienna. Paris? And then New York. And then Vienna. What is this? Old sign. So grating. What on earth was that? I did it right. Maybe later. Right now I feel a bit lightheaded. The record must be warped. That was it, surely. But I feel strangely lightheaded. I, I should lie down, maybe. The strange music had made me, Ill, made me ill at ease. I think I would rather go back to my room. She wants to be in her room. It didn't give me the option to just go right to the room this time. Wait, Pan, wasn't it Apollo before? The plaque says Pan, Lord of all, which is primal and untamed. Right? I'm seeing and Eos. That was Apollo. Okay, well. Glad I hovered over it. I guess that's why they led me back this way. They were like, you can't miss this. Or I just accidentally did that. Can I? It's weird. I keep having this feeling that Henry is in his study, but I haven't heard his car arrive yet. It must be a deja vu. That vase, it feels like it shouldn't be there. And there is something else missing, but I can't remember what. Sotheby's catalog. Where is he? It's getting dark. It does feel colder all of a sudden. Maybe I'll need to put something on that else later. Something on that, something else on later. I am in fact feeling a bit indisposed, but something is not right here. I haven't seen Lord Socks in a while. Oh, I look just fine. It will get dark soon. My harp, who did this? The shadow, it's, it's wrong. It's draped. I just realized things were draped and it was in color. Everything is gonna blend together until it doesn't matter. It is slipping through my fingers, it's gone. But maybe I could sleep and dream of tomorrow. There is always music tomorrow. Is that you in there, Mum? How useless. No light, it hurts. No. I didn't realize that things had, besides the Apollo statue, had changed. Even care. The way she's walking, she is disappearing. 
She did look a little see-through a couple times. She walked through things. I need my medicine. Like when she walked over the yarn in a previous thing, I was like, I thought I saw through her a little bit, but I didn't know if I was imagining it. All that cat hair, it's all over the place. Empty. No. How useless. These hands were never meant for this. I'll show you Rome, Maman. I promise. I don't look at Zaya. On and on until the whole world was drowned. Days isn't there. Some moldy old book. Fragments of a vase. Did the maid knock it over while cleaning? You would have missed. You would have understood. You would have forgiven. I never wanted you to see me like this. Amiens seems so far away now, flickering like a roll of film. I don't need them anymore. My medicine is downstairs. cold, watery grave. A shadow, just a shadow. A deep, terrifying roar. You were always so kind. You and it, you and bread bastard. Poetry, what good has it ever done? The unbearable jargon of the clockmaker. It's the same. I don't recognize this title. Same thing. Ah, oh, it's still there. It's still here. I kind of didn't want it to be there. Where did this come from? She just... It is a letter from Lord Fitzroy. He is a friend of Henry's, if I remember correctly. I hope this letter finds you well. I wish to offer my most profound condolences. What? So daring as to propose an arrangement for our mutual benefit. I dream of holding your hand. Yes, a man can dream. I hope to walk with you in the lushness of your beautiful conservatory. Is this a marriage proposal? Is this real, or did somebody put opium tincture in my morning tea? This has to be a prank. Nobody in their right mind would dare send something like this. I must find the housemaid. Provided this isn't some lock of hers, she should know who to deliver this. I recall I heard her earlier in the foyer. The foyer? Doesn't look like the maid is here, but I hear voices. It seems to be stopped. The hands are stuck at three o'clock. Maybe I can use that key to wind it. Hmm. Oh, it's the issue of Persoir that featured our wedding. Everybody made such a thing out of it. Many were shocked today upon learning of the engagement of the extravagant heiress of the Beauvoir, the jewelry empire, Beauvoisy, Mademoiselle Valerie Beauvoisy, to Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chetham Green. In a move seen as uncharacteristic for the socialite, whose friendships with avant-garde artists such as Germain Dulac of Fernand Leger are well known.
She declared her intention to move to the family manor in Wiltshire, England, leaving behind a life of glamour in Paris for Britain's green pastures. Despite the loud rumours regarding the ruinous financial situation of the Winterbourne family, the heiress insists that this is a marriage of love and that moving to the calm of the countryside will be a welcome change for her after the frantic activity of the last few years. Oh, I do love it here so much. <laughs> oh, I do wish to read that article just once more. I could read this over and over. Maybe we have to get it done. So does that mean everything I try to do, she's going to do that? Oh, okay. I don't really feel like listening to music right now. Are these still the same flowers from yesterday? I'm not dressed to go outside. It's chilly here. I don't really have anything to do upstairs. So I can't do anything upstairs. So I'm done with upstairs at this point. There are some interesting books. Far afield a woman cried, I have killed him, my love. And from her jar she poured blood upon the flowers whose petals are whiter than snow and whose hearts are pure gold. What is this? What is this book doing here? One of those awfully boring technical books that Henry's dad liked to keep around. Striking as though they might as they might look, decorative clocks, such as those embedded within busts or statues, lack precision and reliability. Such models exhibited an average delay of seven minutes when referenced against the classic long case clock. This, of course, unacceptable. This is, well, of course, unacceptable. Seven whole minutes. Just because it's decorative. Is this decorative? Seven minutes? The winding key from the standing clock should fit here. Oh. Perfect, I can wind the clock now. What time shall I set? It was three o'clock. Two fifty three. Seven minutes. It is working again. The mechanism is ticking and the hands are moving. And is that the grandfather clock? Is it working too now? Did I do it right then? Oh boy. Can I do anything else here real quick? And so you see this novel so tightly interwoven with sensations suddenly riven by top bottomless chasms, as if the claim to portray vital fullness revealed the void beneath. Hmm, I am not familiar with this author. Italian? Sounds very modern. Bookworm. Oh, okay. So the grandfather clock. It said seven minutes. I went seven minutes back. I think that's the right thing to do. The clock is working again. Just like... I, I'm i not sure now. When was that? It was here. I was here browsing the afternoon papers. Lord Sox rushed in. The clock chimed. He ran into the conservatory. What had the little rascal done? I cannot remember. Ah, no matter. It'll come back to me. Now about that Lord Fitzroy. There must be somebody in this house who can tell me what is going on. I already know by heart. Can I go to the conservatory now? This baby Ivy will soon start climbing the wall.
Did I see something move there? No. Not quite here, but there is a rustling of leaves somewhere. Camellias are so delicate, with their snow white petals and tiny golden hearts. The azaleas look lovely today. Is this a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. Hmm, must have been my imagination. My goodness, so many bugs. This needs a trim. This foliage is so thick, a tiger could hide here. You imagine one just jumps right out. I have to pause because I'm hearing Donovan awake right now. So save. Okay. That was a fun little intermission. This is later the same day. I want to see where this goes. So see what happens with Miss Winterborn. Okay. I forgot the voices, but I wasn't doing a great job of being consistent anyway. Is this a ficus? I don't know much about these plants. Which is possibly the best spot in the house. Enjoying the morning sun with a cup of tea is something I never did very often back in Paris. Is there like this baby ivy will soon start climbing the wall? I rated this. Mm, must have been my imagination. The water looks so serene. Something in there? Too many times I've sat on this bench and just let my mind wander. It didn't happen before when I clicked. I must not have clicked properly. I guess I had to click on all the places. I'm so lucky to have my very own Sancta Sanctorium. Sancta Sanctorum. and suddenly a blur and chase a clinking sound of porcelain. It's a perfect spot for tea. Gotta go and order. What she says, yes. To remember, I guess. I didn't realize there was an order to it at first. Here, yeah, a scream of pain. Red streaks, the knuckles white like snow, hands so cold, so cold. Happy with the water? Looks like it. Oh, 
Oh dear, no. The water is no longer screaming. And where is the sadness coming from? What did you do? It is stronger here. Is that right? It was the last part. What is the sorrow? Why do I feel this way? This place is always so soothing to me. But those sensations, they were so vivid and unsettling. And the water. I could have sworn I felt. Wait, what is that? Seems there's something at the bottom of the pond. But I am not reaching into that filthy water with my bare hands. I need to find something to help me drag it out. Oh. Um. Nothing on the bench. Nothing is moving anymore. She can wait. Umbrella? This should work. This should work. I'm glad I figured that out. Oh my goodness, I thought... I was like, what am I doing wrong? It took me like maybe 10 minutes. My lord. My dear lord, what happened to you? Who did this? Did nobody see anything? Where is everybody? Help, I must find help. Oh, that's not cool. I didn't realize. You... There has to be somebody here. There has to be. Newspaper. Hello? Can anybody hear me? I don't understand. I left this on the table. Am I going mad? But this is not the Paris Soir. The London Evening Standard. Many were shocked today upon learning of the passing of Henry Winterbourne, Lord Winterbourne of Chetham Green, in a tragic automobile accident. As the car in which he was riding rolled up towards the driveway of the Winterbourne Manor, the family cat, which had been missing for days, dashed onto the road in front of the vehicle. The chauffeur gave the driving wheel a sharp turn. No, no, no. Henry, dead? This is absurd. He's here. He's he's upstairs. I was waiting for him to come home. But he never arrived because he was here the whole time. Of course, how silly of me. That's it. He must be in his study. He'll know what to do. He's in his study. He's upstairs. He'll know. I need to see him. I need to see him now. Very silent hell. Three o'clock. Three o'clock. It's a hoax. It has to be. I use that fresh flowers every morning. It's gonna spread everywhere I walk, isn't it? These hands. Oh, these hands. Clock is ticking again. I can't 
click on any of this stuff. So I might as well just... Covered. Pan. The plaque says, Pan, Lord of All, which is primal and untamed, yeah. A new Lith. The plaque says, Lith, the goddess of war, forgetfulness, and oblivion. Hypnos. Well, I can imagine what Hypnos. The plaque says Hypnos, god of sleep and silence. Is that the sound of a car in the distance? No, it's not. Unless they're coming to get you. For the more? Mama? Papa? He was always so proud of me. So proud. So far away. Let me study. Henry? Are you there? Henry? 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 What have they done to you? Why did they hide you from me? I've missed you so much, my love. I've been away for a while, but I'm here now. And we I did something terrible. It wasn't his fault, he didn't deserve it. Oh, but it hurt so much when you left. I had such dreams, such terrible dreams. But I've found you now. She killed the cat. And I'm never gonna let them take you away from me again. I just need one more sip of my medicine. And then I'll come back for you and take you home. We are going to Paris, my love. I'll be right back. She's going all the way back to her room to get the medicine. This place is a wreck. It wouldn't have saved anybody anyway. Not this glass downstairs, just once more. You wouldn't... You would never... You would have understood. You would have forgiven. Amien seems so far away. Now, flickering like a roll of film. Mom, Dad, I'm barely here anymore. It got dark so fast. My accent keeps changing, but it doesn't really matter. This is a moment. I can make it stop now. No more sleep, no more dreaming. disappearing as she's walking. Okay. I can make it stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. You inbred bastard. Another one of those awful letters. I don't know where this is going, but... No, it's an invitation. To a masked ball. How delightful. Did Henry said this? Will he be there? Oh, I hope so. What a surprise that would be. This must be my mask, then. 
cat because of the cat. It's so beautiful. And that's where she was found near the laudanum and everything. And I was expecting Henry to meet me here, yet I can't seem to find him. But he must be here. Who else could have sent that invitation? Interesting. I have been asking myself the same question. I'm sorry, and you are? Apologies. My name is Jordan Samuels. I am a doctor. Your conversation caught my attention because I too cannot recall boarding this train or even waiting at any station. Given the weather outside, I reckon I must have surely brought a coat with me, yet there seemed to be no cloakroom anywhere. I have attempted to bring this up with some of the other guests, but unlike you, they do not seem to be bothered by it. I cannot explain it, but I feel like I... we should not be here. Who's talking? What do you mean by that, Doctor? Where else do you reckon you should be? I'm not sure you would even believe me if I told you, ma'am. Oh, don't worry about that, dear. If you only knew how much these old eyes have seen. I doubt anything could surprise me at this point. Is she death or something? Lisa, I think we all wish to hear what you have to say. Oh, I for one most definitely do. I forgot his voice. Very well, I guess I should start at the beginning then. I had been working late into the night. I lose face a lot when I do this voice. The Nameless Ritual. And through the senses in here, we can observe that the pancreas shows signs of inflammation. This tells us the patient likely suffered from Dr. Samuels. Ah. Pancreatitis. Well, this surely indicates that. Excuse me, Dr. Hayward. Yes, Mr. Lowell. Why are you talking to the janitor? <laughs> now, now, boys, calm down. Dr. Samuels, you were saying... Yes, from the first glance, we can infer that... He doesn't look like a doctor to me. More like a hoodlum. Keep an eye on the scalpels, Dr. Hayward. Hey hey we wouldn't want him to stick us up. Give him all voices. Yeah, he could rub us blind and disappear in the shadows. <laughs> I bet he's stealing material from the infirmary. Yes, to sell it to whatever criminal it is in God's world. Jeez. Check his pockets, Dr. Hayward. Just random voices. Some of the pies have, in fact, gone missing lately. See, I knew it. Let's search him. Somebody hold him. Oh, I just realized. The nightmares are getting worse. With every day of fasting, I have felt my will slipping further and further. But today marks the 33rd day. Tonight, I can complete the ritual. I must carry out the final preparations. There is no time to lose. This buffoons, too, they will know what I am really capable of. Planetary correspondence. This is the most complete treaty I have found on the es esoteric use of herbs and plants. This is the passage I need. 
The sun shines on the heliotrope. Mercury smells of fresh hyssop. Hyssop? The visions of wormwood rule over Mars. Venus is the sweetness of the rose. Sage is the wisdom of Jupiter, and Hemlock is Saturn's blessing. Saturn? Saturn's blessing. I think I have it memorized now. No, I don't think you do. <laughs> Wasn't expecting. Neighbors again. Don't be timed. Always the same fighting and screaming. Okay. Wound, the wound man, an ancient medical illustration showing different types of injuries and diseases. This one has some partially inter particularly interesting notes. Partially, the sun rules the intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Sun, brain. Jeez, goes too fast. Stars are right, Mars, Venus, and Saturn are aligned tonight. After months of enduring their mockery with fists and teeth clenched, after months of study and discipline, the moment has arrived. I didn't even finish the other thing. The moment to reach out to forces beyond this world. Hope I can get it. It is a lower magical process to make the guardian of the threshold physically visible by producing a particular mixture of a number of substances. Mm, all these substances. A truly terrible spectral being confronts the magician and he will need all the presence of mind and faith in the security of his path. Seek not then to cross this threshold until thou dost feel thyself entirely free from fear and ready for the highest responsibility. Why is he doing a ritual? I'm a little... Alright. If I perform the ritual correctly, the guardian should manifest himself in the mirror. If I face him with courage, he shall grant me power beyond all imagining. But if there is fear in my heart, well, I have nothing to lose anyway. The fiery summons by H. Hmm. Zgovas. Zgovas? Forbidden opus in six. Okay. This is a passage I need. Jeez. Sun. Violent mantle shall devour mercury. To flames of emerald. Oof. Well, low. Violet. Green. Red. Blue. Black. I think I have it memorized now. I saw colors and I immediately was like, this is a color thing. <laughs> I almost forgot. Mr. Williams, morphine is in my pocket. I should take it to him before I get started. My career at the hospital is already on shaky ground. The last thing I need is to be caught taking supplies home. But his tuberculosis is terminal, and this is the only thing that can grant him some relief at this point. I'm afraid of sleeping. My ritual dagger. I will need it later. Okay. I sometimes hear them talking of terrible places in my sleep. I try to write down as much as I can when I wake up, but there is so much I am missing. What? A chapel in the wilderness, fire among the moaning trees. A theatre, a dripping blade, the hateful whispers of the dead. A sunken library where memories are drowned and voices from the past echo in the darkness. Boo, what does it all mean? I forgot to do this for his voice. It's hard to keep that up after a while. Ball of black lead. Bible copper ball. And lead. 
iron. I'm more covered in red rust. This is a spot in my heart that's becoming a part of my New York. Ah, I truly thought things would be different here. I'm BO3. The Johnsons are always fighting. One of these days it will end in tragedy. I tried intervening once, but they almost beat me up. Some things never ch really change, even here. Say I wanted to knock. Good evening, Miss Williams. Dr. Samuels, I'm so glad to see you. I was worried you wouldn't come. I apologize, I got holed up at the hospital today. How was he doing? Not good, not good, Doctor. He can't barely breathe no more. Isn't that cough? It ain't never been this bad before. Do you think he's? I am so sorry, Miss Williams. I wish I could do something. Despite all the medical advances of our era, consumption is a battle we've yet to win. But this will help with the pain at least. My accent changes all the time. Thank you, Dr. Samuels. Bless your soul. Thank you. No need to thank me, Miss Williams. It was my sacred duty. Go to him now. He needs you. Yes, yes, of course. Thank you so much. Good night, Dr. Samuels. Bless you. He stares it up on the street. Nothing to do out there. The ritual awaits. That's it. Very detailed game. I like the way it looks. All right, I can begin the file preparation now. Um, I did it wrong. Yeah, I'm doing something wrong. Yes, I made a mistake. Okay, green. Thought it would match up that way. Let me read the colors again and see how they match up. Red, green, these are switched. Okay, so two of the things got switched for some reason. Did I switch Venus and Mars when I wrote them down? Or did something have them this? Whatever. Okay. Black is hemlock. Hemlock. Black. Green is rose. I hope. And red should be wormwood. Um.
The elements are aligned. Okay. Now I must mark my skin with blood. Now I must mark my skin with blood. One small cut in each spot shall suffice. Why are we doing a ritual like this? It is time. It is time. It is time. You don't want to do anything else? I must now wound myself three times. The sun rules the intellect. Venus makes the heart yearn. Mercury in the hand is darkness. Where's the swords? Jupiter hungers for powers and casts out of genitals into the sea. Sun, intellect, I think so. Heart, hand, genitals. Yes, that was it. It is time to enter the circle. It is time to enter the circle. What? What is this? This is not what I expected. Am I meant to cross over? Go to him? So be it then. I do end this for tonight. You what? Why is this supernatural like this? I mean, they all are, but you know what I mean? Where am I? Is this really the other side? And that, that must be the guardian at long last. I must remain calm and focused. I have prepared myself for this moment. I am worthy. Oh, these look like notes. Is this my handwriting? How can this be? I do not remember ever writing this. I have given my memories away to the waters. I barely remember who I am. My soul is a scorched, blackened stump, all my acts of kindness undone. I do not know what they will demand of my body. I fear this has all been for nothing. But I cannot turn back now. God help me if he still remembers my name. Strange. Nobody has slept here in a very long time. Mirror is broken. This isn't another version of the room. The moment has come. O oh, great keeper of the gates, guardian of the threshold, I beseech thee, hear my plea. I have opened the way, I face thee without fear. Soil, bitter blood, void, price. Void. Putrid, rotten, price, price, taken, scorn, price. Or. Face, feel trapped, flesh, unworthy, unworthy, unworthy. Is that better? Um, knowledge healing revenge. My name is Jordan Samuels. I seek knowledge. Teach me thy lessons of wisdom that my intellect might prevail. Memory drowned, mind oblivion drowned. Dark 
darkness, putrid water, voices under tow. Oh, did something happen to me? The water? I, I do not understand. According to my books, he should speak clearly and distinctly and offer counsel and guidance. Whatever this creature is, it is not the guardian. Right in front of it. What am I meant to do now? Who art thou then? Speak thy name. Yep, forever Jordan trapped. Always doctor together. Go on, Scarpel Woodson, but worth Samuels. Madness, I am Jordan Samuels. Me. Wild creature. Trickster. Hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Is that what's going on? Hmm. Where am I? What is this place? So everything just mashed together? Oh, all the time was both. Okay. Past, present, everything just smashing together. Got it. I can barely make sense of this gibberish. A crossroad? Is that what this place is? Some sort of limbo. Why is the Guardian not here? I carried out every step of the ritual to summon his physical form. What else do I need to do? Oh, Serpent Price. The race. Mm. Do some stuff, Price. My tribute purpose flesh. Sacrifice the soul for tribute. Eh. Some messed up stuff. No, not for the one for you. This makes no sense. None of the texts I read mention something like this. I'm wasting my time. I will not get any answers here. I need to try to make sense of all this. Okay, I'm not going to get this information. Looks like there's no going back through here. Just have to a long time. What is that? I'm seeing something. Lamp. There was a passage in the book. Illuminate the darkness ahead of thee. Take not a single step forward until thou art positive that thou hast sufficient oil in thine own lamp. Lamp. The lamps of the guides whom thou hast hitherto followed will now lo no longer be available to thee. Yet the light seems to be keeping him alive. Taking it away might kill him. But the flame of knowledge has always been my guiding beacon. No matter how unpleasant its truths turned out to be. No matter the no matter the price. price, I must follow its path to the end. I must do this. You don't have to. I shall not waver. I shall not fail. A warning. But I shall not fail. So does this mean I did write this? Oh, no, some other me. The one who fails. I cannot think about this now. I must push onwards. Window. The light is sickening. There you go. Darkness. The corridor. Oh, 
Looks like it's gonna break. The Johnsons, something terrible happened here. Oh boy. What's that on the wall? Miss Williams, is that you? Are you alright? You monster! You killed him, you monster! I cannot let this get to me. This is a test. Just a test. I did what I had to. Also, dear lord, is it alive? Stairs, they no longer go up to the street, but downwards. Very Silent Hill. The animation is really nice. Even for something so pixelated. It's well done. I cannot see anything ahead. It looks like a dead end. But it has to be this way. There's nowhere else to go. Ick. There are books and loose pages floating in the water. Where could they have come from? I recognize those bookshelves. I have seen this place before, in dreams. I was lost in a maze of corridors, trying to find something. But I cannot remember what, or why. Most of these books are moldy and rotten, but some of them are in surprisingly good condition. Romance novels, love stories, bundles of letters. This whole section is a monument to the depths of the human heart. Heart. These shelves are full of diaries. Many of them are still secured with small metal locks. Diaries. These seem to be relatively, re relatively recent. I recognize some of Miss Austin's works. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Before I go there. What is that? Maybe I should go here. I'm not even sure where I should go first. Humidity and mold have damaged them beyond recognition. Could these have been drafts of stories? Lost wills? Confessions, maybe? Stacks and stacks of loose pages. Most of them handwritten, but some are tight. A mess of handwritten notes, signs, missives, and leaflets. Nothing here, just, just checking it out. Okay. This place feels old beyond words. God! Another creature? It is not acknowledging me. Does it not know I am here, or does it simply not care? Should I try making my presence known? Librarian, scroll. I don't know. Look at that. What is it writing? A memory of Jordan Samuels, born April 27th, 1897. Memory of Dr. Samuels, field med medic. His birthday is three days before mine. Memory of Jordan, loving betrothed. Memory of that down the street. Ugh. Memory of Mr. Samuel's music aficionado. 
that is me. That is my life. I don't want to say that. <laughs> yeah, my name is Jordan Samuels. I have walked these aisles in dreams. Although the keeper of this place, it is paying me no heed. I don't think it is listening to me. There seems to be something else. These all look like children's books. Bedtime stories, fables, fairy tales. Child-rearing manuals. Most of them, these seem to be quite modern. It is growing louder. How could there possibly be a child in this place? Yeah, I hear a baby crying. Did I have a kid? It is coming from inside this photo album. This, this is my family. Grandparents, father, aunts, mother. So this baby she's holding must be me. But I've never seen this photograph before. What is it doing here? I should bring this book back to that creature. Maybe it was guiding me to it for some reason. It's quite a stretch, dude. Seem to be photo albums rather than the books. There are some framed photographs lying around too. They all feature as babies and young infants. Children's folk stories. I remember some of these titles. Tales of Anansi. The Adventures of Br'er Rabbit. All the Pretty Little Horses. I know Anansi. I know Br'er Rabbit. Um, I remember short stories and children's stories it wants the book what book these are all music methods from what I can see courses on different instruments composition manuals and so forth The whole section seems to contain only military treatises, treatises, <laughs> treatises, and history books. I can't talk. There is barely ever anything left in these shelves. I can only make out some tomes on Baroque and classic music, and some titles in Arabic. Can you read Arabic? Not, they're not English letters. Handbound volumes upon volumes of sheet music. Most of them are too moldy to make anything out. I can only write my name in Arabic, and even that, I don't know if I could write it very well anymore. Going by the titles, these appear to be music monographs and biographies of famous composers. Classic romantic novels by Shakespeare, Sandal, Dumas, Calvino. I've never heard of him. Dumbass and Calvino. I think it's a circle, right? I can barely read any titles on this shelf. The books are caked in dried mud. All these seem to be either novelizations of famous battles or biographies of military leaders. Oh, scoff. I can barely read, okay. These are all about the Great War, diaries, maps, field reports. Saint Mihiel, I was never there, but I know some men who were. Musagon, I was so close to some of these places. Great War. There are a bunch of dog tags scattered around on the shelf. They are covered in a thick layer of dust. You know about the Great War? These are extremely worn out. That must be really old. Art of War, The Conquest of Gaul, The Treasure That Combines All Arts. Art.
There are not some just books here. I see some trinkets lying in the dust too. A locket, some photographs, few gold rings, dead roses, all tokens of love by the looks of it. Huh? I can't go up there, huh? As Armandi song the song, kind of sutra, the spirit in the flesh, always inextricably intertwined. There's a romance section, there's a heart. Is that what? We knew this. So is there something else I should be looking for here? I'm looking everywhere. just ate the book. What am I doing here? Was I not? I was holding... Was I carrying something? Perhaps it was that dream. It looked so much like this place. And was this creature there too? What does it want? Should I try talking to it? You forgot? It's paying me no attention whatsoever. Looks like it is trying to hear something else. What is it writing? Music. So now it's music. It was music, was it over here? There's something familiar about all this. I think I've seen the shelf before, but when? Have I been here before? Okay. So I have to go to the music section now, I'm assuming. That was down here. Was it like military and then music or something, right? Music is very close. Okay, I have to go to the music section. It sounds if like battle was taking place right here, but I see nothing except books. It is coming from this book here. A map. Shehold, France, September 1918. They called us the Harlem Hellfighters. We took that village while bombs rained on us f like fire from the sky. But we took so many casualties that we were taken off the line the very next day. So many of us never went back home. For better or for worse, the things I saw there made me who I am today. This cannot be a coincidence. The creature clearly wanted me to find it. I should bring it back and see what it wants. I didn't know when the story ended. You hear like shouting, like a military shouting, I guess it's supposed to be. Wonder what now. Yeah, you hear that? What's the book? What am I doing here? Was I not... I was holding... Was I carrying something? Perhaps it was that dream. It looked so much like this place. Can you forget? What is it writing? Memory of Jordan loving betrothed. Memory of that dark... 
Mm. Memory of Mr. Samuel's music aficionado. So it's the same thing, I just have to figure out where the sound is coming from. Music is very close now, there must be a gramophone hidden somewhere. Some of these books, this is almost so, there's something familiar about all this. Methods from what I can see, calls of different instruments. There's no gramophone, the music is coming from inside this book. A sheet music for Fritz Kreisler's Libslade. Libslade? Of course it is. I'm sorry if I messed that up. The day I received the acceptance letter from the Chicago College of, College of Medicine and Surgery. I borrowed a tuxedo, spent too much money on a fancy concert, drank too much wine afterwards. It deems, did seem back then like I was destined for great things. I have a bad feeling about it. I never thought my quest for knowledge would come to such a screeching, frustrating halt. But I have the opportunity to fix that now. I've come so far. Maybe if I take this book back to that creature, I will get some answers. I have a bad feeling about what happened to this guy. I mean, it's already saying, really. Who wants, who wants the book? Huh? Ah. Like a manatee elephant. What am I doing here? Was I not salting? Was I carrying something? What is it writing? Pay me no attention. Looks like it's trying to hear something else. Whispers, they seem to be coming from this corridor. Pause. Um. Where did you Where is last will? The whispers are coming from this book. There is a note inside. And not any note. That note. That furiously scribbled threat slipped into my mailbox one night. The wizard stares, the murmurs uttered, uttered under their breath. Or the jeers and the scoffs, if they felt courageous enough. 
I never threw it away. What is it doing here? This must mean something. I have to bring it back to that creature. He wants the book. What am I doing here? Was I not? It is paying me no attention and try trying to hear something else. Loving betrothed. Ah, oh, I didn't. I missed some stuff. Loving betrothed. That means romance is next. I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize what was happening. Took me a second to realize what was happening. Every time I find something and it disappears, it disappears from that description too. I should have kept reading it. All right, so I have to go to the romance section now. Who's that? Sounds more and more familiar the closer I get. It is coming from this book. There is a letter inside. This envelope is handwriting. I don't even need to open it. Was his wife. I am sorry, Eunice. You deserved so much more. But New York felt like the place I needed to be after the war. So much was happening there. So many opportunities. Did the creature want me to find this? Is it trying to tell me something? I guess there is only one way to know. I'm assuming that this might be the last one, last letter. It might be the last book, considering the description. Yep. Do I explore this? I do. Where am I? How did I get here? Can't remember anything. Who? Who am I? Oh no. Dude, Lord, what happened here? It's a horse carcass. Crater and a dead soldier's remains. Did a battle take place here? Soldier's corpse. Where is this story going? Where have I seen this banner before? It looks so familiar. It looks like a makeshift infirmary. I am somehow familiar with these kits. Bloody sheets and what seem to be corpses. This must be an improvised field hospital. The bell tower has been blown to smithereens. This place must have sustained a terrible bombing. There is some dirty rainwater pooled up in the basin. A bloodied white sheet is covering a body. Dr. Samuel, welcome to the Chapel Perilous. I've been waiting for you. Do I know you? Apologies, I seem to have... What do you call me? It's alright, I know what you've done. It's all gone now. Your name? 
But yes, you do know me. You did a good thing for me once. Did I? Yes, and never for a moment did you hesitate. You took the fire of divinity into your hands. And acted with the certainty of a thunderbolt. Life and death laid bare before you. Such a sight to behold. That sounds arrogant of me. It was not your arrogance, but your kindness. You suffered with me, and my pain was yours. But this soul of yours, this kindness, you need it for another purpose. This fire must be wielded again. The Guardian? Ah, oh, you still remember. Yes, the Guardian, like the texts say. I must become a perfect and glorious being, or fall a prey to corruption. And should this occur, I would drag thee also down with me into a dark and corrupt world. And do you also remember what brought you here, don't you? Yes, I, I came here seeking knowledge. Yes, and yet it is also said that my threshold is fashioned out of all the dread of the strength needed to take full responsibility for all thy thoughts and actions. Yes, many years ago, did you not take full responsibility for your thoughts and actions? This has been a burden. Today you must free yourself of this burden of bygone lives. Look, look around you. You abandoned these men, you left them to suffer and die in great pain and agony. You were young then, you didn't know better. Now is the time to rectify that. Free them, Dr. Samuels, like you freed me. And I will hear your confession once your dues are paid. Covering his eyes. Good lord, his hands. When an explosion could have done this. He seems to be in shock. Soldier, can you hear me? My name is I I'm a doctor. Doctor, doctor, doctor. Not here. Left. He left. Not here. He's been blinded by shrapnel. His hands have been blown off almost completely and he's delirious with fever. Without antibiotics, he will surely die in a matter of hours, or days if he is unfortunate. He's holding onto a pillow, grabbing it with all his strength. The pain must be unbearable. What is your name, soldier? Shh, shh, shh. Sleep. If I could just sleep. Doctor said he'd make me sleep. He said he would. He would come back, help me sleep. But he left. He left. Shh. Well, if it isn't Dr. Jordan Samuels himself. So I have been told, but I have no memory of my name or what I did to get here. Do I know you? No, I do know you. Yes, Doctor, I remember you. I can't ever forget you. I've been here so many times. I've done this so many times. Over and over, waiting here, hoping that you will bring me a bullet so I can blow my fucking brains out. And you just walk away every time. You walk away saying you will help me and you never look back, you bastard. I'm sorry. I'm so very sorry. I cannot remember any of these things. You're always sorry, Doctor. Have you talked to Shane this time? Quite the nervous fellow, ain't he? He remembers everything over and over. He just wants to sleep, poor guy. But he can't forget you either. And Jim? Seen him yet? Doesn't talk much, that one. Only moans sometimes when he's unlucky enough to drift back to the surface. I'm sure he remembers too. I'm sure in that blackness of his 
there's a name echoing again and again. And what is your name? Name's Luke Doc. Lucky Luke, they used to call me. Called me. Not anymore, I guess. <laughs> Please, soldier, hand me over that gun. I promise I will help you. Wouldn't you like for me to do that again? Not a chance, Doctor. Give me a bullet and I'll take care of it myself. Luke, I... Say, Doc, what do you think will get me first? The gangrene or the infection? Just kidding, I already know. It has happened so many times. Always the same way. Not going to be any different now, is it? His legs. He must have stepped on a landmine. This is... It's making me think of another game, but like, this is a little different. What is that? It looks like a flask. Jeez. Have his jaw has been shot off. He's alive somehow, but barely conscious. He's also bleeding from his stomach, but this is not a gunshot. He must have tripped when he was shot and fallen on a piece of metal or a fence. I cannot even begin to imagine his agony. He's wearing an ammo belt. Maybe there is some ammunition left in it. But I will not take it and leave him like this. I need to find a way to help him first. I am sorry I have been told that I did what I did, even though I cannot remember. But I will not walk away this time. No recollection of any of the things he mentioned, yet it all somehow rings true. Can't take anything, there must be something useful here. A jar with some opium pills, eight, maybe ten. They must have been here for a very long time. Opium in tablet form is not very common anymore. If that is the case, they have probably lost a great deal of their potency. I will need to use all of them if I want to. Why do I remember all this? He wants to sleep. I need to find water. Ugh. The flask. Canteen. Couldn't really see it. Empty canteen. Here, yeah, soldier. You can sleep now. I'm sorry for having kept you here so long. Jeez. You will no longer need. Oh no. Ashes. I think I know where this is going, but I, I could be wrong.
I already... Yeah, that's what I thought. It is time to go home, soldier. Jeez. This game is fucked up. I can take these bullets now. Goodbye, Jim. Alright. I found what you would what you wanted. Well I'll be damned. Thank you, Doctor. I never thought the day would come. Now you might want to step back a bit. I'm gonna stand, yeah, cover your eyes, exactly. Oh my gosh, this is very... Mm. I hope you found your peace at last. Yeah, she's, this is... I don't get to take... He didn't, he didn't leave the gun for me. Alright. It is done. This makes me think of I have no mouth and I must scream for reasons, but I'm ready. I let people suffer. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Is there anything you wish to confess? I don't know. I I just killed three men. I should feel something. Relief, guilt, horror, pride, anything. But the only thing I feel is empty. Hold out. I'm so tired. How long has this been going on? How long have I been here? Worry not. You've done well. How? What does that mean? doesn't matter now. You're almost there, Doctor. There is but one more trial ahead of you. And you shall finally come face to face with the Guardian. But what is the point? I remember nothing. Not even who I was. What will I ask? What do I want? You need only remember this. You created the Guardian the first time you ever made a choice. And you've been feeding him ever since with every action, every decision. Every act of charity, every lustful thought, every life saved. Everything you are, he is too. If your soul is corrupt, so is he. And everything you've given up, you'll need to take back from him. Only after confronting him will you be able to cross the threshold. But, fear not, you will understand soon enough. Now, go. Oh, my goodness. Dr. Samuel, so glad you made it. Three boys and I have been waiting for you. The boys and I have been waiting. You must be so excited. Oh, to cross the threshold at last. You have given so much, so much. But let's not waste time, shall we? I think you know what to do by now. Oh, no, no, don't bother. There is nothing left of you but flesh. We are your voice now, and you shall speak only through us. Now pay attention. I have given my mind to the waters. Repeat now, Doctor. I have. 
here in. You disappoint me, Doctor, again. I have given my given my mind my mind to the waters. Excellent to peel back the first layer now. And listen, listen carefully. I have consigned my soul to the flames. Repeat, Doctor. I have consigned my soul to the flames. Good, good. Now the second layer. Out of skin? Take that scalpel and go ahead. Go ahead, do it. Do it now. And I just do it. Oh. Now listen once more. I now surrender my flesh to the blade. Repeat, Doctor. I now surrender my flesh to the blade. Excellent, excellent. Now, the retractor. Stretch the skin. Open the yawning gate. The hungry void awaits. Now listen one last time. And I I always love you, sorry. Offer my blood to the mirror. Repeat, Doctor. And I offer my blood to the mirror. Yes, yes, you know what to do. You know what to do. Open the threshold. Open the path to the guardian. Become the empty yawning void. Uh. Uh, well, you just eviscerated yourself. And we're just okay with that? It's me with a mask on, we know this. I'm just gonna say finally, because I know. Finally. The Hollow One, I was beginning to think it hadn't worked. Feels like I have been stuck here for an eternity. Very well then, let us get this over with already. Exists no more now. So he had to kill himself to be born anew or something? Yes, yes, at last. I'll cross out the invitation. Where did I? Time to get out of here. I remember nothing after that. Huh. It's quite a story. Who's talking? Question is, where are we now? What if this is yet another test for me? For all of us? Oh my, what an idea. Look around you, Dr. Samuels. The only thing that is being put to the test here is how many glasses of champagne one can drink. Good 
try or what? Oh. Please excuse me if you will. As I was saying. Say, is it getting hot here? Yeah? It does feel like it. What are you doing mingling with the humans? Are you tricking them again into telling you their stories? You know I can't help it. When you know it's not allowed, what do you find so fascinating about, it, about them anyway? I don't know. I wonder how it feels for them, I guess. The pain, the constant struggle, dying alone and forgotten. By their own hand, even. But we can't mingle, and we can't allow ourselves to... Wait, what do you mean by that? By what? By their own hand, even? If that's true, they should be at the back of the train. What are they doing here? I... I don't know. They just told me. You heard? No, there's something else here. Don't... Don't tell me you invited them personally. Please, don't tell anybody. You gave them mask, you sent invitations, you collected them. I... You can't do this, they were meant for below. You know restricted the numbers are. Are you insane? They... these ones deserved it. You should have heard what they went through. That is not your call to make. I know, I'm really sorry. It won't happen again, I swear. Oh, for the glory of... Alright. Alright. I won't say anything, but please don't do this ever again. They were meant for below. We're still going below. Just a little less deep for them. Eligible for the redemption lottery every 144,000 years, even. Maybe never. It's still a better chance than what they had up there. Please, I just wanted to hear their stories. Layla, Layla. You're going to get us to the swamps one day. Okay. That was cute. In a really fucked up way. And that was If on a Winter's Night for Travelers. I don't know where my brain was going for where I thought this was going. But it was uh it was interesting. A death blow was a life blow to some who till they died did not alive become. Who had they lived had died, but when they died, vitality begun. Lee Dickinson. Thank you for playing. And that was the end of that was the end of the game. And I hope you enjoyed that. Um I enjoyed it the the end was okay, but it was a little like Yeah, it's it's a death train. Got it. I don't know. Sometimes you're expecting like some weird crazy twist and then when you don't get it, you're like, oh, but maybe that's not the point. It was nice, I liked it. Um I felt bad for the characters, obviously, and I think that was the point. Because that's why they weren't below. Alright, so um that's it. I hope you enjoyed that and um I don't know, maybe I'll do another blind playthrough or I don't know, we'll see. <laughs>